that right there <clears throat> is for the cub. I never used it, but what it is is uh, two pipes. Okay, this is made so it'll go out both sides when you're cultivating for fertilizer. I don't never use it. I just use it out of one side. What's got to happen here is I have to replace a few parts on this plow. It's been a few years. I needed to do it years ago, and I haven't. But these are called the shins, I think. Shins, maybe. Part right here. And what, what the deal is on a plow is when this part wears out, you're going to get into other parts wearing out, like this piece, which needs to be replaced also. I'm not sure exactly what that's called. You guys probably, some of you I'm sure know, this one too is wore out. I'm going to try and get another one of these for each plow. And I'm going to replace these right here. And also my wheel back here has been flopping really bad. I'm going to try and get the bearing fixed on that. And the trouble with farm equipment is, it seems like you can always go one more round. Because you always go slow. Everything on farm equipment moves so slow. It's like, I can go one more round. I can go one more year, you know. I could plow with this plow right now one more year, but uh, you know things just continue to get wore out until they're complete junk. And I think that's why farm equipment, a lot of times when you buy used, is just completely and totally wore out. One got down in my shoe that time. There's the culprit right there. I need some OSHA approved work boots with steel toes, apparently. See, I've let this wheel go too far. See that? It's flopping. It's wore this out. That's almost like a razor sharp thing. But I'm gonna have to fix this, weld a piece on there. And it's got cracks in it too, but most likely I'll just, let me see if I can, can you guys see the cracks? I'm sure you can. I'm just gonna weld those up. That'll be all right. I get this apart, see what the bearing looks like in there, which I'm sure is non-existent. I brought this inside to show you because it's so windy out there guys this this piece right here it's like that I thought there would be a bearing or something in here but apparently not I'm not sure what belongs in there this piece can unbolt I'm thinking about maybe just unbolt this I could probably get a pin like for a tractor to bolt on here and then this get this uh, uh board out maybe a sleeve put in it I'm not sure I'm gonna do a little more research on that but I think that's what I'm gonna do Whatever's the cheapest way to fix it is the route I'm going to take. Time now for me to go gather a few parts up, hopefully, and maybe head on over to McDonald's and get a McRib or something to eat for lunch. I'll be back in a few. Ooh, it's sunny outside. 
it's been a couple days guys a couple days uh long trip to mcdonald's and back anyways i couldn't find any parts so i had to order them off the internet and they only had one and it is right here one landslide and they are impossible to find for some reason and i was sent the wrong part for another one which is anyways i've got these two old ones i'm going to take both of them together weld them together one solid piece that'll make them twice as thick and put them on this plow for now until i'm able to locate another one because i got to get plowing it is getting to be gardening season Well, it's put back together and I am not too proud of it. I welded this up just so that it could wear out without wearing my plow out. The most important thing is not to wear this plow part out. And I got these bolts that don't belong in there, the wrong ones. I've cobbled up a spacer because I'm not going to use the back guide wheel. This is a perfect example of what happens. And that is, when you're trying to buy the right parts that you could just bolt on, it's not supposed to be a big deal, not a big job. You can't find the parts. People have no clue what they're talking about when you're asking for parts. They send you the wrong parts. You spend a whole ton of money. And in the end, you end up just welding it up and cobbling it up like you could have the very first day you started. But you've lost all this time and money trying to make it right. And again, in the end, you still have the same thing as you would have had just cobbling it in the beginning. But So I'm not happy with this. But it'll do for now. I'm going to leave the back wheel off until I can find all the parts to get that together. I'm going to look for a landslide later. I'm going to get all the right bolts for this plow. And then later come back to it and get it all back together right. But it's just one of them deals, guys. Let's just hook it up and see how she does. I'm sure it'll plow fine. So in the end we got the field plowed and it looks really good. Things aren't always going to work out the way you want them to or the way you expect them to. But the main thing is persevere and just get the job done guys. That's all that really matters. Get the job done. We'll see you next time.